Titanfall has honestly been a great franchise, but it's sort of in a crossroads at the moment. While a new game was confirmed to be in the works, there have been some issues with Titanfall that leads me to believe that this new game might not meet sales goals and may underperform, which would lead to the ultimate fall of Titanfall. Titanfall 2 did not sell well enough, the player counts have gotten pretty low if you aren't playing Attrition, and with many key developers of Respawn going back home to Infinity Ward to work on the next Call of Duty game, it leaves us to wonder if this really is that fall of Titanfall. If you ask me, the next game could sell the best that a Titanfall has ever sold and still fail. I mean, sales aren't really the only thing that matter, especially when the game loses that steam that it had quite quickly. If you remember back to 2016 where Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare were all competing for the first person shooter fans, that theoretically should have been the easiest year that Titanfall had to compete. Infinite Warfare is easily the worst Call of Duty game ever made and was already despised by its fans by the end of the day in which the trailer for the game launched. Battlefield was reaching out onto a limb by going to World War I and it definitely sold well, but it still was not the top game. Infinite Warfare actually was. Even if Titanfall 3 is confirmed at E3 or revealed at EA Play for release later this year, it makes me worried since, you know, the game is going to be competing with games like Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Red Dead Redemption 2, possibly games like Fallout 76, a Player Unknown's Battlegrounds release on PS4, upcoming Fortnite content, and many other titles that have yet to be revealed or announced. If it didn't sell to the sales target in a decently weakened market back in 2016, which Titanfall 2 should have done considering it was a great game, with a major studio and publisher behind it, I mean, how could it honestly expect to make these targets this time around when so many other games that have so much attention right now will be right there too. This is also worrisome because the developers going back to Infinity Ward, who all worked on Titanfall 2, supposedly left around mid-2017, so if the game does launch in late 2018, this means that they were gone for about half of the development cycle, and these are veteran developers too. They've made some of the best Call of Duty titles ever and the game might be way worse because of that. I mean, you combine the amount of development that they missed with how many of these veteran developers are leaving, and it's just not good for the game regardless. And honestly, it would be way different if these people leaving didn't know what they were doing. But before Infinity Ward split up and a bunch of the developers went to start Respawn and make Titanfall, these guys and gals were making some of the best shooters of all time. Modern Warfare 2 is still a classic regardless but it would really be different if they just made awful games that nobody cared about. Modern Warfare 2 is easily one of the most influential shooters of all time, COD 4, another one, you know? They hit that mark before, they've made some of the best shooters of all time, and they're still making great games in Titanfall, but there's just so many issues around it, plus them leaving, that it just makes you wonder if this next game really can be that great. Titanfall 3, whenever it comes out, is likely to have some big competition. Honestly, the odds of them outselling Call of Duty or Battlefield ever are quite low, but even if the game came out in 2019, the rumors say that Infinity Ward, where a lot of the respawn devs went back to, are making Modern Warfare 4. Do you really think that most people are buying Titanfall 3, which could be the weakest game in the franchise in terms of quality due to these developers leaving mid-game, over Modern Warfare 4, a Call of Duty game? Call of Duty obviously is a perennial contender, every single year top selling game. Unless something huge comes out, there's not much that knocks Call of Duty away, you know what I'm saying? This year maybe it's going to be a bit different because of Red Dead Redemption 2, but even then Call of Duty is easily the best selling shooter game every single year. That also doesn't take into account the amount of just complete nostalgia that Modern Warfare 4 is bound to bring people if real. I mean, so many fans left after Modern Warfare 3 in that franchise and to see Modern Warfare 4 and see that same style of game Gameplay coming back to Call of Duty might even pull more fans back onto that bandwagon, which obviously is not going to help a Titanfall 3 come out and just completely stomp out every other game. It's going to hurt sales, and it's going to hurt them pretty harshly. I've been talking a lot about outselling and the sales targets and whatnot, but even when you whittle it down to just quality of the game, Titanfall 2 was an awesome game. 
at least when you could find lobbies in all of the game modes quite easily. Titanfall 3 honestly probably won't be that good when you look at everything we know so far, and that's just looking at it objectively and looking over everything that has happened so far and what we know at the moment. It's extremely hard to make another great title when the series is already underperforming, many key developers and designers left to join your biggest rival, you're also now stuck working on a Star Wars game, and the expectations and competition are on an entirely different level. Now, we we can't guarantee that the game is going to suck, but things are not looking too hot at the moment. I mean, EA recently acquired Respawn, which is kind of a scary thing, but they're probably not going to shut them down like they did with Visceral. I mean, they have kind of invested back into Titanfall, but will they keep doing that if the games keep underperforming? Respawn has the potential to make a lot of great games, and I'm sure they can find a way to make another Titanfall work. I hope they can. The studio has an amazing streak going for them, but these issues remain. Funding is not an issue, since they have EA right above them, and I'm sure that they can replace a lot of the developers that left with other good people, but... There's just a lot in the way of a breakout success for Titanfall 3. Maybe Titanfall is just bound to be that under-the-radar series forever. Maybe it'll just never break out and give Battlefield and Call of Duty that surprise that kind of puts it up there with the big names, and maybe it's just always going to be one of those great games that people get because they enjoy each and every title that comes out even if they don't rise to the top. The truth is, is if I could still find lobbies on PlayStation that aren't attrition, I'd still be playing the game. But it's kind of dead now because you either can play campaign or attrition and, you know, good luck finding consistent lobbies elsewhere. There's going to be a lot of issues that Titanfall 3 has to fix, and this is one of them. The game doesn't come out yearly like a Call of Duty game does, so they need to find a way to make that support stretch over multiple years. They need to find a way to keep the games alive for enough time that way, you know, players can consistently enjoy the game past the launch and not quit playing after a few months. What's the point in buying a game that is multiplayer based and doesn't come out yearly if after the first year or two, you can't find a lobby for any game mode but one and you now have to wait and hope that the next one comes out in time for you to not forget about it and become tied up in other games. I mean, the multiplayer is really fun. The Titan systems have always been enjoyable. The movement is akin to the EXO movement in Call of Duty, but it even plays smoother than that which is something that COD games have always had going for them. And the gunfights are satisfying, the maps are pretty decent from what I can remember, the game was fun to play with friends, especially with clan features and happy hour things that rewarded you for hopping on with your friends and playing, the game made you feel kick-ass, whether you got nice kills and takedowns, it was exciting, it was just overall a great experience. I want Titanfall 3 to provide that similar experience and to build off of what works, but... I don't realistically see how they can do that at this point. And what's even more unfortunate, or rather scary for fans of the series, if Titanfall 3 flops or it doesn't meet those sales figures, what does that mean for another game in the future? I don't honestly see EA being too happy with the game failing to meet expectations when it comes to sales twice in a row after shelling out so much money behind the franchise and the series not showing signs of being able to turn it around. Especially if this Star Wars game that Respawn picked up does really well. I mean, if they knock that game out of the park and they flop Titanfall 3, it's underdeveloped, it's uninspired, unable to compete or hold any form of interest. Why would EA order another Titanfall game when it's more apparent that Respawn can make them money in other games? They have another one of the big first-person shooter titles that comes out in Battlefield. I mean, they don't really need to compete in that market much more. What if both of these games flop and do awful? I mean, will EA get upset and finally decide to pull the plug on Respawn then? Will they go back and form another studio and make a different game series? This is that crossroads that I was talking about earlier in this video. Right now, it's not looking exactly great for Titanfall. If Titanfall 3 sells well, meets the targets, exceeds expectations of fans, I mean, that's great. And I'd be happy because I'll be playing the game. Maybe EA will then order a Titanfall 4 and they'll have a chance to become that game that really throws a curveball at Call of Duty and Battlefield. That's the positive stance, but the negative possibilities mean some really bad things for us Titanfall fans. I mean, if this next game flops or it doesn't sell well or it sucks, that's not going to be good for the franchise. At that point, it starts to legitimately bring up whether or not Titanfall is going to have another game beyond that. If Respawn can't make their Star Wars game work either, that might mean that EA decides that Respawn isn't just something that they can utilize, and it could get them shut down. 
I mean, it's video games. Anything is possible, and this should all be taken with a grain of salt, at least until we see Titanfall 3 be revealed. Right now, Titanfall has fallen way off of the expectations that it held to the industry, and it's not looking great for a Titanfall 3. But things can happen. Changes can be made. And the next game has plenty of opportunities to be that game that changes it all for the franchise. Unfortunately, there's just so much in the way that also has, you know, the opportunity to do the opposite for this game. Respawn is already on strike 2 of making this game a real contender, and that strike 3 could be Titanfall 3, or, you know, maybe they hit a home run with it get another shot at it down the road. They just have to do better with Titanfall 3. It has to be the best Titanfall they've ever made. It has to be revolutionary. It has to set a new bar for the industry. It's got a lot to live up to, and I believe in Respawn. But if they fail, it's truly the fall of Titanfall. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter for memes, thoughts, and updates. Check out OptimusStudios.org for more. Tell me what you think below. Make sure to watch more live streams. I think I'll be doing one tonight. I'm not 100% sure, but I will go ahead and update you on Twitter and here on the community tab along with my Discord. By the way, join the Discord below to talk to me and other fans. And until my next video or live stream, guys, this is Optimus. Hoping Titanfall 3 is good and signing out.